Hey guys, this is Franklin from Anglebus Studios. Welcome to this new Rhino tutorial series. In this series, I'm gonna take you to mastering Rhino from beginner to advanced level. Let's begin with it. Alright, before getting started, you can download Rhino from rhino3d.com. Just click this download Rhino 8. You can download Rhino for Windows right here and for Mac right here. And you can purchase Rhino license by clicking Rhino 8 for Windows. And you have to log in or create a Rhino account to download. Or else you can use the 90 days trial version from here. Okay, first I'm gonna explain about the interface of Rhino. When you first open Rhino, this will look like this. In the topmost part, we have a title bar and below that we have menu bar which contains file edit view and other stuffs and below that we have command box which is more important in rhino i will explain about that later and this is the main toolbar which we are going to use most of the time and the left side we have extended toolbar or standard toolbars and the right side we have panels which contains layers properties and other stuffs and the bottom we have snapping toolbars and also the status bar and the most important thing is the workspace we have four viewports in rhino they call the workspace as viewport and we have four viewports as i said this is top view and this is front view and this is right side and this is the perspective view these three viewports are 2d viewports and the only 3d viewport is perspective view let me show you if you created a 3d model you can see this like this is the perspective 3d viewport and we have right side view and this is front side view and this is top view of this box i'll create another shape so that you can understand easily now you can see this is the 3d model which we created and we have the top view and the front side and the right side if you change anything in a viewport, it will reflect it to all the viewports. Okay. If you want to minim maximize this viewport, you just simply double click on this name tag. And if you want to minimize, again double click. This is how we switch viewport to viewport. There is one good thing in Rhino. We can do a thing in a multiple ways. For example, we can switch viewport to viewport like simply minimizing and maximizing the windows or we can switch from here if you want to go to the perspective view just simply click perspective top view front view and right view and in the perspective view when you right click it will orbit the space at the same right click in the 2d viewports this will pan And we have small arrow mark near the name tag just click on this we have so many options here first part is the display modes we have so many display modes in the viewport first we have wireframe in wireframe we can see the wireframe of the structure the skeleton of the model and second we have shaded in the shaded view we have we can see with the surfaces which we are going to use most of the time when modeling and next we have render views let me create a surface here in render view we can see the materials once we apply the materials we can see it in the render views and we have ghosted view ghosted view is the mix of shaded and also the wireframe you can see the skeleton as well with the surface and then we have x-ray and technical and artistic pen monochrome actually monochrome is the new features only available on rhino 8 arctic and finally we have ray traced ray traced is the actual rendering display mode in rhino let's go back to the shaded view we have some options here 
we will see this in the upcoming videos when you are starting rhino as a beginner it will feels like too much there are too many options and everything and all you don't have to know everything from the beginning and when you used to it you will understand everything in rhino so we will see this in the later videos here we have some viewport options there is an active viewport you can switch viewport to viewport from here also if you want to go to the top view just go to the active viewport and press top and we have a viewport layout In this viewport layout we can create a new viewport like if you minimize this you will see you can create as much as you want to create a viewports and then we have four viewports tab if you want to close this viewport you can simply click close viewport and if you accidentally do this just click the arrow and go to the viewport layout and press for viewport this will reset the viewport and we have a three viewport also this will show only three viewports let's maximize this perspective view and we can also set views from here uh, actually we are in the perspective view if you want to change this view to another view like top bottom left right front back anything you can change just simply click this okay that's for today Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video.